Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about how to turn your PC into a web server. Now what does this mean? Well basically, you can host your, a website on your own computer that you've made um, and people can access it from the internet. And all they have to do is type in your IP address and it will come up as a web page. Now there's another way you can do it so you don't have to type in an IP address but I'll show you that at the end. But basically using your internet connection you can send your web page out to everyone who connects to you. So how are we going to do this? We're going to go start and then control panel. Add remove programs. Now Vista users it will be programs and features. And click add remove windows components. And I think Vista users will say uh, it will say turn windows features on or off or something like that. So you have a list here of those of components. The one we're looking for is Internet Information Services. So click that and press Next. Now it may ask you for a Windows XP CD-ROM like it's asking me. So I've got mine in the drive so make sure you've got it in your drive. Um, uh, here we go. So we're going to say Open and then OK and then it'll start copying and installing. So while that's installing I'm going to show you a basic um, tutorial on HTML, just going to make a basic home page. Now if you don't know what HTML is, I'll just quickly show you. Uh, what we're going to do, actually, we're going to open up Notepad and I'll quickly tell you how to do this. So uh, there's HTML uses things called tags, so you say this, this is a title tag, this is a tag. So you see where it says untitled Notepad here, you can change it in a browser to say what you want. So I'll just say for the, for the minute, this is a test web page. And you then want to close this tag so it doesn't do the rest of the things you've written by putting a slash before the same thing as at the beginning. So you've got title, this is a test web page, and then end it with slash title. So um, you then want to do a header. So you can have H1, this is the biggest. You can have H2, H3, H4, H5, I think. For H1, we're going to do the biggest, and then we're going to say, um, a very nice page and then we're going to end it with slash h1 uh, you can then do sla um, p which means paragraph so we'll just put a big gap uh, you don't need to close this um, you may want to and then we're going to write some sample text so I'll just, I'll just write sample text so we're going to save this and we're going to save it as type we're going to change to all files and then we're going to type in index.html save it and you'll notice it now appears on the desktop so uh, that is basic, very basic HTML and you'll notice that it opens in, I've got mine opening in Firefox, yours might open in Index Explorer, whichever is your web browser, just double click it and you'll notice it says that's the bit we wrote in the title, this is a test web page in the heading, a very nice page and sample text so this is very very basic here um, index.html, why have we saved it as index.html? Well, when you go on web pages, uh, you can find that when it just types, uh, you type in www.google.co.uk. Now, what it doesn't show you is usually there is a file on the end which you connect to um, to download the page. So, this page is actually a file, but it doesn't show you. So, if I was to type in index.html, which is usually the home page of Google, and you'll notice that it loads up the main page. Now the reason it's changed colour is because I haven't got my uh, f my Firefox extension uh, doesn't t change it black because uh, it's only set to do www.google.co.uk but this is the home page so it's done with index.html so when they want to edit the home page they just edit this index.html file and that's the same thing we're going to do here so as you can see this is completed now so we say finish and it'll probably load back on add remove so we're going to close it and I'll open up studio make sure I don't go over my time so um, yeah double click on that and we've got a very nice page so you'll notice if you go into my computer and then open your main drive you'll notice you have an inet pub folder on your main drive so you double click that and then uh, ignore these for the second we're just going to go to www root now you'll notice that um, you've got several files here and you've got an index.html file here as well. Um, if you go to connect, to, this is the point where you can now connect to your own website, if you will. All you have to do, instead of having www, you just type in localhost. And you'll notice it pops up with this stupid page saying Microsoft Windows XP. Your web service is now running. You do not have a default web page. So blah, 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 blah. 
and it opens another window which has help in it or something. So for the time being I'm just going to move all of these out of this folder. Would you like to replace it? No. So I'm going to rename this, it's going to try to replace it, I'm going to call it Tindex and then put it over here. So this is still our index.html file that we've made. So uh, I show you localhost on uh, Firefox uh, in Firefox, but it does come up uh, for me um, without my little fix. It um, came up with a password prompt that said username and password. So all you do is go to about comma config, and you'll notice it's got loads of stuff here. You want to go for network dot automatic, and then press enter, and it says network automatic NTLM auth trusted errors user set string and I'll put localhost in so then it will then connect to localhost. So uh, you'll notice now because I haven't got anything in this www root it says directory listing denied because I haven't got a main page on it so it's trying to, it, it tried to list the files that are in it. So all you have to do is drag in this index.html into www root in inet pub and then you'll notice if you go to go into localhost press enter it still won't let you do it. Um, so, oh yes, uh, I know why. Uh, basically, you then have to go to Start Control Panel, and you need to go to Administrative Tools, and then Internet Information Services, and then you click on HPC, which is my PC, Websites, Default Website, and you right-click this and go to Properties. You then go to, I believe it's Documents, and then add your own in, and then we're typing index.html, which was the name of the file. So these are these are the accepted things you can have as your main page. And we're going to say OK. And you'll notice that we've got index.html there. So now, when I refresh it, it should load up my web page. There you go. This is a test web page, a very nice page. So all you had to do is um, add your index.html to the Internet Information Services part here in the websites and default website in the properties and then documents so you just add it here enable default documents so these are the default documents you can have um, so after that's done you can then find that if you go on your um, go on something like www.whatismyip.com then I'm not going to go onto it so you see my IP but uh, basically you can then give people the number that comes up on this web page and they can connect and you'll find that when they connect to they type your IP in their address bar you can find that it will come up with this is a test web page a very nice page sample text so you can then start putting your own HTML I suggest you go to an HTML tutorial site to um, make better web pages than better pages than what I've just shown you which is very 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 basic now what if you want to have something like um, you don't want people to type in your IP address um, every time to connect to your web page. What you can do is there's a website called no-ip.org, is it, or is it .com? I've typed it in before. Um, it's .com. So you've got no-ip.com, and what you can do is register, say no IP free, and I think you can register, and you can then have a domain um, where you can put, I don't know, Duncan. Duncan.noip.com. So then people can then put this into their address bar, and then um, it's just a subdomain of the main service that you're using, and they can con then connect to your website just by typing in this, and it will connect to your page. But obviously, this is all dependent on your the speed of your internet. So um, the more people that connects to you, the more you're uploading, so it can slow down your connection. So. Uh, you may want to invest in a in in someone else's web server and use that because they're dedicated to hosting websites. But if you really want to do it for free and get it all so people can connect to you using your connection, then do it this way. So it's Internet Information Services, and that's about it. If I've missed anything, if I've said anything wrong, then uh, please let me know in a comment and please rate and subscribe if you like my videos. Thanks for watching.